to deploy them in the same coin. No. The law is an nafsa bin nafs, bil ain bil ain, bil ulufa bil ulufa. The law remains the same. The law is what was in Torah and the law is the same here in Quran also. But actually, this period of the struggle, this period of dawa, this is the stage of your, of your movement. In, during this phase of your movement, you have to have sabr, no retaliation, no revenge. And that was actually the key to success as I have explained in the lecture that I gave on last Sunday. This was the key to success. Because the general public, which we call the silent majority, they were seeing it, they were silent, they couldn't take the courage of standing, you know, and saying to Abu Jal, you are wrong. They didn't have the courage to say this. But they were not blind, they were seeing what is happening to Muhammad. And who is Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? What is happening to Abu Bakr? And who is Abu Bakr? What is happening to Bilal? Well, he did nothing wrong. He only says that there is no God except Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. If he has committed a crime, this is the crime. Then he is being beaten like anything. He was seen being dragged, you know, with a rope in his neck and he was being dragged like the dead body, like the corpse of an animal. Why? Why? What for? Due to what? What crime of his? Not none. So actually the sympathies of the general mass, masses, of the people, of the silent majority, they were going in favor of these people who were calling them towards Allah. And that was the key to the success. So this sabr was most important during all this Bakki period. That is why in the beginning you find even, you know, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in singular plural, fasmir ala ma yaquluna wahjurhum hayran jabeela. Wale rabbe ka fasmir. Fasmir le hukme rabbe ka wala takun ka sahay bil hoot. Fasmir wa ma sabro ka illa billah. You know, you know, find it in so many places. The advice to Muhammad coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, Muhammad, take it patiently. Take it patiently. Bear it patiently. Show perseverance. Vasmir wa ma sabro ka illa billah. Vasmir wa la takun ka sahib il hood is nada wa huwa maksub. Don't become like that, that messenger of Allah who was swallowed by the, by the fish. Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam. You have to wait for the, Express permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to leave Makkah. You can't leave Makkah without express permission. You have to be here and you have to take everything with forbearance. Now these words must be, you know, must remind you of the ayah of Surah Al-Baqarah. There we found, you know, وَمَا يُدِلُّ بِهِ إِلَّا الْفَاسِقِينَ يُدِلُّ بِهِ كَسِيرًا يَعْدِي بِهِ كَسِيرًا وَمَا يُذِلُّ بِهِ إِلَّا الْفَاسِقِينَ الَّذِينَ يَنْقُضُونَ أَحْدَ اللَّهِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مِيْسَاقِهِ وَيَقْطَعُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ أَنْ يُفْسَلَى وَيُسْتَدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ This actually, the ayah 26 and 27th of Surah Al-Baqarah, these words are very much resembling. And this is a sign that the time of the revelation of these surahs, Surah Ibrahim and Surah Daad, was very close to the time of the revelation of Surah Al-Baqarah. Very near the event of Hijrah. الَّذِينَ يَنْقُضُونَ وَالَّذِينَ And as far those who break, yanquduna ahdallah min ba'de misaqih. The covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after having it confirmed, wa yaqtawuna ma amar allahu bi ayyus sada, and they are breaking these relations, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had commanded, that they should be joined, not broken, wa yufsiduna fil arm, and they are making mischief in the land, ulaika lahumu lanatu wa lahum suuddar, for them there is the lanah, the curse, and for them will be the evil abode. Allah is he who spreads, outspreads the provision for whomsoever he likes. Gives him more and more and more, plenty and plenty of it. And yaqdaro liman yasha, these are the words understood here. And for whomsoever he wants, he, you know, decreases it. He gives, he straightens it, narrows it. And these people, you know, they are rejoicing, they are over enjoying the life of this world. While the life of this world compared with the hereafter is nothing but a passing and joy or a little comfort. Again the same. And the, these people who have disbelieved, they say, Why has not been sent any miracle, any clear visible sign on him from his Lord? Tell them that actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He 
leads whomsoever he likes astray. And he gives the guidance towards him only to the person who turns to him. Who intends to have the guidance, Allah will give the guidance. But who doesn't intend himself? Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to give him guidance. He is not going to show him those signs and miracles. They are gone, gone on the days. That was the childhood of humanity. Now humanity has come of age. Now mature, mentally mature. Now you have to think and understand for your own self. Those who believe and their hearts, they get satisfaction in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Behold, these hearts, these souls can have satisfaction only in the zikr and in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You might have plenty of everything, all the, you know, luxuries, all the comforts, everything. But still, you know, you, you won't find that satisfaction of your heart. These hearts can only be, feel satisfaction if they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. الذين آمنوا وتطمئن قلوبهم بذكر الله لا بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات توبا لهم وحسن معاب those who believe and do good deeds for them there are blessedness and the very beautiful place of return حسن معاب كذلك أرسلناك في أمة قد خلت من قبلها أمم in this way O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم we have sent you to a community before whom so many communities have passed. In this very Arabian Peninsula, the Ad and the Samud and so on, many communities and nations have, have lived. So that you recite to them what we have sent down to you in revelations. And they are denying, rejecting Rahman. Now this is another issue. Because the name of the supreme deity with them was Allah. They objected, who is this Rahman? We know Allah, but who is this Rahman? You say Bismillah rahman rahim we know Allah, who is Rahman? You will find this discussed in detail in Surah Al-Furqan. And Rahman, we are not going to accept Rahman, who is this Rahman? وَهُمْ يَكْفُرُونَ بِالرَّحْمَانِ قُلْ هُوَ رَبِّي لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّهُ He is my Lord. And there is no God except Him. And I have put all my faith in Him. And towards Him is my return. If there was, even there was a Quran, by which the mountains could be moved, or whereby the earth were left asunder, and whereby the dead were spoken to, 